I've been studying the occult for the past four years, just to see if it's real. And I believe, yes, it is. And it works. I want to be very clear. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm certainly not trying to convert you. I believe that the only reason you're watching this video is because you want this information and you're ready to receive it. I also want to be very clear that anyone in this space that let's say deals in absolutes, <laughs> uh, that uses exclusive language, like this is the only way, I am the only path towards, I would personally disregard people who use that language. Any system or person that says this is the only way, I would personally be wary of. Next, I want to be clear that the occult is not scary. It's not like the way it's been portrayed in film, for example. It's not dark temples and black robes and mysterious rituals and demon worship, and it certainly has nothing to do with Satan. In fact, the only thing it has to do with Satan is the fact that the occult is basically a theory, a philosophy of everything. It's like a, a, a grand unifying theory of, of everything that we see, of nature and spirit and this seemingly physical world around us. Um, so in that respect, the fact that Satan is a concept, that the devil is a concept, that anything is a concept that we're aware of, then it is part of the occult. But it's not, it's not a necessary part. It's not something that you need to concern yourself with, really. Regardless of whether you, you're working with it or, or afraid of it. So what is it? It's simply hidden knowledge. That's what occult means. It's hidden. So occult knowledge is hidden knowledge. It's the ancient wisdom, like Hermeticism and, and that sort of thing. It's, it's really all it is. It's not scary and dark and sinister at all. Especially if you have no fear of it, then there's nothing to fear. So basic principles is that, and you'll, you'll find this repeated all over the place. It's not just like you read one book and you go, oh, well, this is, this is it. You know, you, you see it cropping up all over the place, different cultures. The more you read into this stuff, I believe the more connections you will see and the more it'll make sense. That's certainly what happened with me. So basic principles is that this separation between bodies, this, this, this idea that we are separate people is an illusion. In fact, everything around us, physical objects, everything, is not actually here. We've, we've chosen to, to perceive it as a, as a physical solid reality, but it's not, it's not really who we are. This is not really who we are. We're, we're more and we're connected. We're one. So then any interaction you have with other people, whether it's positive or negative, you're just interacting with yourself, right? So if, if someone at work is pissing you off, <laughs> look at them as you. And like really like delve into what are they like? What is it about them that's pissing you off? And then what part of me is being represented by that external person? So the ultimate goal is to realize what, who we truly are and evolve. It's what it is. It's spiritual evolution. To put it in a single sentence, it's what we do and what we become when we no longer need the physical body. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for now. It's really easy to go down a rabbit hole with this and explain every little aspect of it, but if and when those parts of it need explaining, I'll put up another video. I want to leave you with something though, if you want, if you want to take this further, if you're interested. I'm going to give you two book recommendations. The first is the Kabbalion by Three Initiates. Now I know for those of you who may be familiar with 
Hermeticism. I know that this is a more modern text. It's not original. I'm aware of that. It's kind of like a greatest hits of Hermeticism. However, it is pretty easy to get through. Not always easy to understand, but it's easy to read. It's short. It's concise. It has like all the basics as far as I'm concerned. This is what I started with and I didn't understand it at the time. I've now come back to it and I'm appreciating the hell out of it. I'm drawing in the margins. It's, it's a whole thing. It's great. I do recommend that. Even if you bounce off it at first, come back to it later. Then I'd like to recommend the Law of One, uh, the Ra Contact. This is, is really what opened things up for me. I want to be very clear, despite how it sounds, this is not a religion. <laughs> it's certainly not a cult and you shouldn't treat it as such. Don't treat it as a Bible. It's not that. Um, and there is a lot of information in this that isn't necessary. However, the book is structured in a way that it, it's really obvious what parts of it aren't important, still interesting, but not important, and what parts of it are important. The book itself also warns you to take what resonates with you and discard the rest. Don't take the whole thing as, as gospel. And that's, that's like a running theme with this stuff, you know? If you believe it works, then it works. So, like if you want to get into like the traditional casting spells and rituals and whatnot, it's in there. You can do that. I'm not saying that that's bullshit, but if you're going into it without full belief and commitment that a, a spell, for example, will work, then it's not going to work. If you're like, oh, let's dabble with magic, let's call it. Let's dabble with a spell just to see if it works. I, I doubt it would work in that case. So in that regard, it kind of doesn't matter what you do. In fact, here's the surprise twist ending. This video is a spell. It's my way of signaling to the universal God or my higher self, or whatever you want to call it, that I'm serious about this and I'm ready to be heard.